Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will talk about the project deployment model in SSIS and we will deploy an SSIS project to the SSIS catalog. So this is my profile. I have 8 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies, mainly in SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to deploy a complete SSIS project to SSIS catalog. Package deployment was always a pain for the SSIS developers. So before SQL Server 2012 version, if you had 50 packages in your project, then you had to deploy all 50 packages one by one and you are using some XML configuration or maybe SQL Server configurations. But in SQL Server 2012, Microsoft introduced a new kind of deployment model that is called the SSIS project deployment. So in this particular deployment, you can deploy your complete project to the SSIS catalog. So for example, if you have 50 packages, then you only need to deploy once and all the packages will be deployed. So instead of using the XML configuration or SQL Server configuration to pass the values to the SSIS packages, now we can use project parameters to pass the values to the SSIS packages. Okay, so the major difference between project deployment and legacy package deployment is that using the project deployment, you can deploy all the packages, those are situated in a particular SSIS project. However, in legacy package deployment, you have to do deploy each and every package individually. So without wasting time, let's jump to the demo. So I have already created this particular SSIS package that I'm going to deploy in this particular video. You can download this particular SSIS package from dataplatformlabs.com slash resources and I will share the link in the description of the video. So this particular SSIS package when ran, it loads the data to a test data table inside a testing database and then it also logs the number of records loaded and the file loaded to a particular TBL log SQL Server table. So anytime you can run this particular query on the database and it will tell you the counts from both tables. So right now both tables are empty. And now let me just show you the, like if I execute the SSIS package then how the tables will look like. So the package got completed successfully and if you go to variables so it has loaded data from this particular file. So we can verify data on SQL Server side. So now we have total 30 records in this particular table and the test data underscore one file got loaded. Okay, so now let's work on deploying this particular project to the project deployment model. So before deploying the project, right now I have only one SSIS package. So let me create one more SSIS package. Let me just copy and paste this particular package and then maybe rename it as my second package okay and then let me create a project variable here so that we can use that project variable to pass the values to the to these SSIS packages so we can maybe name the project variable as p file path because we want to pass the value of the file to the SSIS package. So if you check right now in this particular SSIS package, we have an SSIS variable file path which currently contains this particular information. So for now, let me just copy the same information and put it here. So we will provide the value to this particular project when ran. So it's not kind of sensitive because so you can mark the value sensitive if it's kind of a password otherwise we don't need to provide it like a sensitive and required means if you will select the property as required then every time you will execute the SSIS package then you need to provide the value to this explicitly. So for now we can make it as false and then now we can simply close it. So if you go to variable so as of now this variable is not mapped with any variable however we need to assign the value of this particular SSIS variable from from the project parameter that we just created. So you need to just go to the expression and click on these three dots and you simply need to assign the value from project parameter to this particular SSIS variable. Click OK. So now the value of this particular SSIS variable will be assigned from the project parameter. Okay, so the value what whatever the value will be inside this particular project parameter it will be copied to the SSIS package. And now let's go to second package and do the same thing here as well. For second package as well, we need to assign the value of the project parameter to the local SSIS variable. Now we are done with 
creating and configuring the project parameters in the project and now we simply need to deploy our SSIS project to the SSIS catalog. So right click on the SSIS project and click deploy. So the integration services deployment wizard just open, click next. And now we need to browse the SSIS catalog. So it's saying that you don't have the SSIS catalog on your machine. So what we need to do as of now is just cancel this particular wizard and go to the SQL Server Menu Studio and if you look here you will see that integration services catalog is not available here so what you need to do is right click integration services catalog and click create catalog now you need to type your password here so I'm just typing my password make sure that you type a strong password otherwise it won't take it click OK now the SSIS catalog has been created and now we can again work on deploying the project so right click on the project click deploy click next click browse so now you can see that SSIS catalog is here you need to click new folder to make a folder for this particular project so I will say that my folder name can be demo click ok and then you, you need to select this particular folder for this particular project click ok next and then you can simply click on deploy so it's deploying the complete project to the SSIS catalog so now all have been passed so our SSIS project has been deployed to the SSIS catalog now click close now we are done with the SQL Server data tools and go back to the SQL Server Management Studio and if you refresh the SSIS catalog here so you will see that we have a, this particular folder that we created and under the demo folder we should have a projects folder here and then under the project folders we should have a project so this was our project name executing package from batch file and if you expand this particular project so you will see the packages folder here and if you expand the packages folder you will see both the SSIS packages here ok so as of now I have only one file loaded and uh, it has 30 records so to execute an SSIS package from here you simply need to click on a particular SSIS package that you want to execute and simply click execute so this particular box will open and here the default value for the project parameters is C files test data underscore one so if you don't want to provide any different value you, you can simply click OK and this will actually load the run the SSIS package so it's saying that uh, the SSIS package is, uh, is started do you want to see the report so we can see ok let me show you the report so it's actually showing like, like what happened with the SSIS package so first of all in the SSIS package the prepare tables task ran and then load CSV file and then the do logging so it's showing all the steps here so we can simply close this and if you re-execute this particular query you will see that the the query the second time the SSIS package ran and it again loaded 30 records but in the SSIS package actually we are truncating this particular table so that's why the data is not changed here otherwise in the logs you can see that this file loaded second time so this was simply executing a particular SSIS package from SSIS catalog so now suppose I have a second file here at C files I have this particular file test data underscore 2 and I want to execute this particular file from the from this particular SSIS package so what I need to do is I need to simply click on execute and then you can see that this is the default value of C file test data for this project parameter P file path so I can simply change the value here so maybe I can change it to 2 because 2 file is available test data underscore 2 file is available here I can click on OK and then if I will click on the OK so it will actually this time I don't want to see the report so this will actually load the second file so if I click on execute so now you can see that it has loaded 20 records and the second file got loaded so you know guys you have seen like how I pass the value from here ok through the project parameters so you can create lots of project parameters maybe for server name database name or some like maybe for some folders as well so you can create some project parameters here in your SSIS project and then 
using the those project parameters you can pass any kind of value to the exercise packages while executing the exercise packages so guys this is how we can use the project deployment model in ssis thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button and do subscribe to our channel to see more videos on ssis and other related technologies thank you so much